Almost a year ago, this channel put out a Zen 5 and Zen 6 leak that confirmed everything from Zen 5's accurate IPC to Zen 6 using new advanced packaging techniques. But additionally in that video, the code names for the cores of Zen 5 and Zen 6 were also leaked, which by the way, Cores have their own code names separate from finished SOCs. Like Zen 6 will use Morpheus or Monarch, and that is not the same as what the code name would be for a desktop Zen 6 product. And that's very important for you to understand before I show you this tweet on screen here from Everest on Twitter claiming that Zen 6 client is codenamed Medusa. What he suggested, we have to be clear here, is that something called Medusa is a finished product that will utilize Morpheus or Monarch Zen 6 cores as a part of its design in some client products. And I emphasize the word client specifically because client can mean more than just desktop. And thus, I don't understand why every website back then instantly assumed that Medusa only meant the successor to desktop Zen 5 Granite Ridge. After all, doesn't the name Medusa sound more at home with a Strix or Fiery Phoenix than climbing a granite ridge? And has everyone seriously forgotten that Gorgons, like Medusa, who is a Gorgon, they have wings? Seriously, read up on your Greek mythology, people. And you know it also has wings? Phoenix and Strix, but not a ridge made of granite. And so, yeah, I saw that tweet back in January, and I've certainly had my own gut reactions and opinions to what Zen 6 Medusa probably was this entire time. But ultimately, until I have my own sources, my own people that I know, that I trust reaching out to me, talking to me about what Medusa is, I haven't really felt compelled to look into it at all. But of course, as you can see from this video, that has changed this week as one of my longest running AMD sources has reached out to me about AMD Medusa. And then from there, I've asked other people about it as well. And I've gathered some pretty interesting information for you all today. So let me put these quotes on screen. The first one is that first AMD source that reached out to me, one of my longest running sources that told me that Medusa will tape out by quarter two of 2025 and production should follow before the end of 2025 as well. Although that is only if things go incredibly well and it could certainly slip to 2025 for the launch. And I was also told that this product, Medusa, as far as this person was aware, is a Zen 6 product that uses some of the same packaging tech as MI450. Now, I took this information to another one of my sources. This is not one of those people at AMD who always knows everything, but they do work with AMD. And this person told me that as far as they are aware, Medusa is a Zen 6 product that will launch to desktop AM5. This person did consider it to be the Granite Ridge successor, but because of the name, and also because this person had heard of a Medusa Halo succeeding Strix Halo, this person believes that there is something going on with Medusa, just like I was suspecting it the whole time and that it may be a family of zen 6 products that will launch as a granite ridge successor that's the standard zen 5 desktop successor about the launch for those who don't know and that it will also possibly encompass the successor to strix as well and what's interesting is that i was also told by this person that it should use a three nanometer io die that supposedly Strix Halo might use one as well, and that there may have even been an effort to eventually fit at least one of those products onto AM5 in some form, which sounds crazy to me, but I'll get back to that later in the video. First, I wanna to go to the third source here. Now, this person is a partner of AMD, told me that they had heard of Medusa, and that they also think that there is a Medusa Ridge, a Medusa Halo, and a Medusa Point. Now, this person isn't 100% sure, but they do wanna say that they have heard of various versions of Medusa, and it should be noted that whether it is a Ridge on desktop, a Halo for premium laptops, or a Point for high-end laptops, all of those are client products. All of those would technically be Zen 6 client. Now, the last source that I spoke to for this leak here, this is another one of my longest running best AMD sources, told me that they don't remember hearing about Medusa. Remember, just because you've worked on one part of an architecture doesn't mean that you know what the whole final finished product will be called or everything that it will have. But this person did tell me that with regards to the idea that Strix Halo might have a three nanometer IO die, this person does know for a fact that Zen 5 Strix was originally planned to be a three nanometer chiplet 
architecture, but that got axed after they had tons of issues developing it. And then also, though, after TSMC delayed 3 nanometer. And once this person started thinking about it, they were like, well, Strix Point was meant to launch quarter one or quarter two of this year, as this channel leaked, but now it's going to launch in quarter three. So that makes it three, uh, two quarters late. And then Strix Halo was also supposed to launch in the first half of this year, but now it's getting delayed almost a full year. That's a far larger delay. It can't just be from chiplets. Perhaps Strix Halo is delayed more than Strix Point because it insisted on still using 3 animator for that IO die. And that is when things started to get really interesting as I connected the dots and I started to come to some profound conclusions about what I believe is going on with Strix Halo, Medusa, and Zen 6. And I want to talk about it, but first an ad from a sponsor. All Jesse wants is for Maurice to play with her more often. But unfortunately, he just does not give out playtime or kisses for as low of a rate as she does. And I think she's just going to have to deal with that. But do you know what you don't have to deal with? Paying too much for Microsoft software if you go to cdkeyoffer.com. This piece of content is sponsored by cdkeyoffer.com. Whether it's Microsoft operating systems, Office products, or even many of the latest games, cdkeyoffer.com provides PC gamers with a product this community deserves. Amongst endlessly elevating component costs, Fair pricing on Microsoft keys is one thing that we at least should get, I think. And, you know, the Moore's Law is Dead team has been working with CDKeyOffer.com for a very long time. And that's because they're good to me, good to Dan, good to about a dozen family members of friends of mine that have used their services. And they've been really, really good, most importantly, to the Moore's Law is Dead team community. So support this channel by using offer code BROKENSILICON to save 25% off Microsoft software, or you can also use Die Shrink to save 3% off everything else on the website like games. Using either of those codes really helps the channel a ton, and it helps save you money. So use those codes BROKENSILICON and Die Shrink at cdkeyoffer.com today. Now, let me explain what I believe happened here after connecting the dots between like a dozen different leaks, and then I'll tell you what is finally going to happen in my opinion. So again, it wasn't just this video that's talked about Strix Point development having issues. Another video from earlier this year out of this channel, one that's information has been proven entirely correct by recent Zen 5 announcements, that video also had contact saying that Zen 5 Strix, it was a basket case. It actually almost had its core architecture downgraded to Zen 4 so that it would release on time. And speaking of on time, so much about these APUs, the decisions made in how they should be chiplet or not chiplet, I believe comes down to getting them out on time because AMD does not want to miss the AI hype boom. So again, I believe Strix Point and Strix Halo started as designs that were possibly all three nanometer, but at a minimum had three nanometer IO dies a couple years ago. Then TSMC had three nanometer issues. AMD had issues getting that working. And they said, hey, we're never going to get Strix Point out on time if it's a three nanometer chiplet design. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to release something called Hawk Point. It's not going to be called Phoenix Plus. It will be called Hawk Point. And we're going to make sure its AI engine is just barely strong enough to beat Meteor Lake's NPU and performance. And then we're going to rush that out early 2024. And, you know, it'll be single digits to low double digits or something better than Phoenix. But it will have a better NPU than the competition. And that will be good enough for us to have the best APU on the market during all of the AI hype in early 2024. Boom, that's what Hawk Point is. And then they said, Strix is already going to be delayed, moving from 3 nanometer to 4 nanometer. Let's also drop the chiplet thing, but let's take this opportunity to upgrade the AI engine or NPU in it so that it beats Lunar Lake in AI performance, and that's what they have done. So that made Strix Point get delayed, but not delayed terribly, and that will be launching next month, a monolithic 4 nanometer edition of what they initially wanted to be 3 nanometer in chiplets. And then they said, well, you know what, though, Strix Halo, that design, that level of performance really needs to be chiplets. And so, oh, well, if it's delayed even farther, we're not going to change it from having a three nanometer IO die. And then they went, well, you know what, we'll be fine, though. We're going to have 
Hawk point out early 2024. We're going to have Strix point out in the middle of 2024. And then, yeah, it'll come out a year late. But if we make that AI engine even stronger, and it does sound like it may get at least a 60 tops AI engine. You know, we can market this as just the next generation of APUs half a year after Strix point launches. It will still use Zen 5, but it can probably use Vcash. It will have over double the compute units and its AI engine will be a bit stronger. They have a better memory controller. Yeah, no one will fault us for saying this is another generation. Phoenix, Hawkpoint, Strix point, Strix Halo, Zen 6 Medusa, and 2025. Whether they give them new naming schemes or call them successive generations or not, I think there is this cadence of humiliation emerging when it comes to AMD comparing their NPUs to Intel's NPUs. Think about it. Hawkpoint was announced with 16 tops before Intel launched Meteor Lake with a weaker NPU. And now AMD is launching Strix Point with 50 tops before Intel launches Lunar Lake with a weaker NPU, but they're going to try to hype up the combined tops. Would it surprise anybody? Remember, Lunar Lake's not coming out for months. If on the actual month Lunar Lake is finally coming out, AMD details Strix Halo, which will have over double the compute units of Strix Point, and according to some rumors out there, will actually have around 60 tops, so more than Strix Point, and they just go, yep, our combined tops are better than Lunar Lake already. If you just wait a couple months, you'll be able to get Halo. And then when Intel tries to get you hyped for Panther Lake, AMD just announces Medusa Halo, and probably Medusa Point. So, yeah, I don't know how Intel is going to compete with this aggressive cadence of APU humiliation that AMD seems to be cooking up for over the next two years. But what I do know is that Intel cannot afford to lose any more client market share. When I say client, or should I say when Intel says client, they're often talking about laptops, people. Zen 6 Medusa, to me, Sounds like, yes, it will be some sort of desktop successor to Granite Ridge, but I also believe that name, Medusa, has wings, like Phoenix, like Strix. I believe Medusa is a family of raffle-stomping APUs that AMD has got working on laptop and possibly on desktop as well. And yeah, to be honest, I haven't even scratched the surface of the Zen 6 and 7 information that I want to leak, but I feel like this is big enough already for me to say that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like it, to share it, to comment down below for the algorithm, but also just to subscribe to the Moore's Law is Dead YouTube channel and ring that bell button, both so you don't miss the upcoming leaks from this channel that will tell you more about Zen 6 and Zen 7 later this year, but also just to help the channel grow and get better guests, better support. More subscribers helps this channel get better people on the podcast. And so if you enjoy it, you are helping when you subscribe. But you know, you would also be helping if you subscribe to the Moore's Law is Dead Patreon, where you can talk to me about this video with thousands of other patrons in the Discord. You get access access even at the lowest tier. And at that lowest tier, you also get access to Die Shrink. A new one just came out talking about what really is going to push people to upgrade to Zen 5 or Arrow Lake later this year, or what might not compel people to. That's just another bonus video right there for patrons. No ads at the lowest tier. Of course, higher tiers get other perks as well. But you know what? No matter what, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching.